It's liquor courage, baby. Y'all know what's going on. Hey man, look at Curry's shit. Hey man, season two, episode, episode two. Episode, yeah. Yeah, man. We back, man. Live. Hey, shout out Bass Snap. Can send me shit. He going crazy right now. New tape drop. Yeah, it's, sir. Called, it's like some anime shit called Goku or some shit like that. That's what we, we got that live in the stoop coming at it. Yeah, he got some shit going crazy. Like, yeah, yeah man. Sure. We got we got a little segment called Live in the Stoop. If y'all didn't know, you know what I'm saying? We we basically focus on local artists that's trying to, you know, we feel like up next as far as taking this craft serious. So yeah, man. Shout out to all the niggas that we already done brought on. Yeah, we got him dropping. We got E Money dropping. We got a nigga from Texas dropping. Like, yeah, a lot hey, of uh, shit going we on. Still ain't dropped. Nah, we just get we down there worldwide now. You feel me? Real. Yeah, for real, for real. That's what we're trying to do. That's the point, right? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Hey, hey, let's start with the shot though. Yeah, that's the whole point. That's why we here. Start off with a little shot. You know what I'm talking about? Yes, sir. How you feeling? Do you good? Hey, good. Hey, shout out Bass Snap. This song called Crash of the new tape. Yes, sir. First you shot know, of the night. You know the name of the tape? I, I try to say it's like Goku. Oh yeah, the Goku. Shit. Shit. Anime. Right, shit, bet, yeah. bet, bet. Yeah, yes, that, nigga, that nigga sliding on that motherfucker. Mm-hmm. That nigga, man. But yeah, man. What the fuck going on, man? So you got the clean cut, boy? You know how to get, you know, pin up for the pie real quick. Yeah, man. I see you done chopped it all the way down with your little man. bald head ass yeah, nigga. Took, like, took about four hours. I'm nigga saying, though, bullshitting and shit. Using that motherfucker for a little, little minute. For real, like, man, really. That's the thing. Really, like, three, three and a half hours? Like, what the fuck? It take that long to get a cut or what? Nah, let's so check this out. I made the appointment. I called him way early. I made the appointment. I get there. He said, hey, bro, I got to cut a little kill on the side real quick. I said, all right, cool. You know, nigga cutting the shit, cutting the kid. looked sincere when he told you. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. yeah. I got He cutting the shit, you know, you know, the kid mom with him and shit. This nigga doing the most, talk, telling jokes, cutting the music down, doing all kind of shit. I'm like, I'm looking at this man like, come on, man, you'll never do this shit. Like, he got all the best jokes. He in his bag with the jokes. Hey, he doing all the extra shit. I'm nigga, waiting this shit. That I'm nigga, like, you, on, that man. nigga, some of them, some of them motherfucking barbers do more talking like they got they a cutting. microphone instead of goddamn some clippers. You feel me? Like, hey, hey and these cuts shit. ain't cheap no more. The bitches, I paid forty five from a cut. See, my thing is, I wouldn't, I wouldn't mind paying a nigga like a good ass tip if you just get me, you, right. you get me in and out right. of there. It's oh, like, yeah. my as soon as I stepped in, there, like, about, you know, what I'm saying you was ready for me or exactly. 10, 15 minutes tops. Every time, but I mean, I want to buy. I want at least thirty minutes. No, I'm talking about you gonna take your wait. time. Oh yeah, wait, yeah, yeah, yeah. The wait. Oh, yeah. Nah, don't know no the thing is though, back yeah, when you the gotta cuss- take your little time on me, dog. Back then, remember they used to like put like, like uh, do your face over with hot towel and shit. They don't, don't do none of that they shit. Don't no do more. That? They don't give you nothing. But <laughs> I call this we for your cuts and shit. They don't do none of that no more. But I, I mean, forty five. I I know some barbers that do. I think I think JD the barber do all that. Shout out to that nigga man. Ooh. JD. Oh yeah, yeah, JD yeah, yeah, the barber. Yeah. I think he. He he one of the few that's gonna get you all the way right. Yeah, you got a special you know too, man. You get two cuts for a hundred bucks a month. A month. Hey, and, they, and you get, to that you get all that shit. You get everything we talking about that most barbers yeah. don't do. Shout out that nigga Jake. We had him on. If y'all ain't see the episode with him, man, y'all check it out. Last season, first season, man, check it out. Yo, so I got some shit for you. So I was on Facebook the other day, right? Mm-hmm. I seen some crazy shit. Like these girls now, they different. So I'm gonna read the post, right? Okay. That's what it say. Talk it say, me. Talk to a, me. a guy ordering dessert on a date is a red flag for me. That's a female thing to do. And then she double backed on it and said, if a guy is on a date with a woman, the woman should be the only one asking for appetizers and desserts. Men eat meals. Like, seriously, you can taste whatever I got. So what's your thoughts on that? Like, this bitch talking about you can't, you can't handle dessert, no appetizers, because you're a man. Like that bitch paying or what? Like I mean, like, like, like we you already know who paying nine times out of ten. So nowadays, I guess I guess they can have they can tell us what to eat, what right. not to you eat, can't do shit. what to order. Like, what? How's that a red flag ordering what you paying for? Right. What's red about it? It was red is you can't like. She said you can share from her plate. Like, let me get one of your goddamn cheese. And that's what it said verbatim. Yeah, like, she said oh, you can have some. What I bitch? got? She's just a random. It's a random post that went viral. Oh, it went viral. Her so. name is Miss Fishscale. She probably some ghetto ass bitch. I'm like, man, I had to post that shit in my house. Said, ain't no way, like, bitch, Bruh. you're not even paying. Like, what are you talking about, man? 
I'm hey. gonna order the dessert, appetizer, whatever I want to eat. I'm ordering that bitch. Fuck I that. Swear God. I see. See, one thing about me, I ain't gonna lie to y'all. I don't fuck with no desserts and all that. But you just don't like sweets and shit. But exactly. Like, but if a nigga wanted to order that a appetizer, I'm a whole because I want thing? some goddamn. I want something for, right. the, for the goddamn the real Start that bitch off. Like, you know, that's shit crazy. Yeah, man. Shit, but. Hey man, y'all, hey. y'all, y'all girls is crazy. I got a lot of shit to say now, man. A lot of standards, a lot of goddamn false narratives going around, boy. Pretty much, yeah, man. So that shit. With that being said, we can we can get over that. Then fuck that. That shit had me blow, boy. I'm like, what the fuck? Speaking of dating and relationships and shit, like, how you feel about that little baby and uh, what's the name break up? They done broke up goddamn fifty times already. So, but you know what? Ha- you know what happened, right? So apparently, uh, not, like, not quite. She had texting nigga back. I don't know who the nigga is. He probably, he probably somebody. Oh else. yeah, they said yeah. they, they said quote unquote cheating, like in his mind, I guess. Yeah. So, hey, shit to me, if a bitch, if my bitch texting another nigga, who she replied to? I don't know, but it, it gotta be for him to like respond on social media because you know, little baby, he mad private with his like his uh, internal shit. For him to respond to that shit on social media, it probably like another lit nigga. Yeah, it, it had to be. Had to be. She ain't replied. Yeah, she ain't replied yeah. to a nigga that's exactly that ain't on that level. Right. You feel me? So probably another top notch nigga. Like he, she probably felt like let me let me reply in case this right. shit. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. Fizz a lot, goddamn. So hey. they, they didn't broke up a couple times, but you know how that shit go, baby mama shit, shit like that. So you feel like the 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 definition of um cheating changes for men and women? Do you oh feel yeah, like for it's sure. The same. So what do you feel yeah. like? As I far mean, as men, if I if I my bitch. Cheating? If my bitch even responding to niggas, that's damn near cheating. Cause why you even talking to him? Like, they bitch, say I, all... I see my bitch holding hand. Like, I'm, I'm ready to die. So hey, they say they say the the, the all you gotta do is get them talking. Like, that's yeah. that's the gateway to cheating, boy. Yeah, you get them talking and they they attention and you know they you know what I'm saying? they got a right. man, but they they talking. It's like yeah. you know what I'm saying. Like with a woman, that means more than a man. A man could just be being really like on yeah. some like what's your purpose? Like what up? Like with a female, she ain't even replying and she ain't got some type of interest. That's right. how I feel. But as far as on a woman's standpoint, I feel like I feel like. They'll they'll they they'll take a little more bullshit like you oh know, yeah yeah they little, can handle a lot they can us. handle way more boy niggas, they'll take you back niggas low key <laughs> niggas low key sensitive boy no, we can handle shit hey that test test that's what I'm saying like a, bitch, a, lot a, of shit, a woman but, like can take you back multiple times cheating doing dirty but if you see her damn there right fucking saying hey or something. <laughs> Nigga, oh, nigga ready to die, ready to throw off, all kinds of shit, bitch, right? Give me that get out of here, like, get, get out of here. Fuck home, man. I'll die single right now. That's the thing, though, like, because, like, when men do shit, we just do it just for the fun of it. But when a bitch do it, like, she got some type of feelings involved. Feelings? She already know, like, yeah. That like, shit, it's dead. been long gone. Dead. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, like they they been feeling some type of way, but Everything that nigga said something at the right time. Yeah. It's like, oh, little that you know, was, nigga. That probably was going through it. Like, right. he said, yo, he probably said something just so slick shit. You know, a nigga think, he, yeah. nigga think, oh, she get mad all the time, mm-hmm. but you ain't thinking this one time was that time. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? But shit, Shout out, to them, shout out to them females and them niggas that's putting up with that shit, man. Hey. Man, it's time for another shot. Yeah, man. Love is love, man. For real. Let love love, man. We gonna love this look like we do. Look at courage, man. So you been fucking with like the whole like New York drill shit? As far as like, yeah. like uh Yeah. What a nigga named Flacco. Yeah. Fucking you fucking Fabio and shit too? Or? Yeah, yeah, but let's take this shot real yeah. quick. Look courage, you know what I'm saying? Hey. So all about man, shot number Brand two. Awareness, you know what I'm talking about? Hey, get you some. This is online. God damn. Yeah, man, but you say about the drill. Yeah, the New York drill shit. Like, what's your I, thoughts I, about I it? Fuck, I fuck with the music. Like, I it's crazy because I don't really, I don't really care for the the older modern New York music, but the drill. That's shit, what brought them back, though. Yeah, the drill like, shit brought smoke, them back. Cause R. for R. a while, I don't care. New York was shout, dead. Out to, shout out to my nigga Jordan Page from New York. That nigga man, love New him York some goddamn. Dead. He love him from New York, but one thing about it, two things for sure. Nigga, you know, you know the South had that shit on Smash. Y'all niggas know that South time. got that shit on Smash, like and that shit over with right now. But I'm fucking with the drill. That's yeah, the name yeah, of the New York's game. coming back mm-hmm. for sure. Yeah, they coming back. They trying to at least. So ever since like uh Pop Smoke died and shit, the nigga Fabio Foreign really like been doing his thing, like working with Kanye. Like you saw his Funk Flex uh freestyle, Fabio Foreign. Nah, actually, he went crazy. Like I was surprised. Like damn, when, that when nigga he did, went. What, when he did that. 
probably like a couple months ago, but he went crazy like top of the year. And he got he got a new uh he got a new song with Quavo called Magic City. That shit going crazy. And everybody already talked about oh, Poppy was album about to be crazy. Oh no, you put me on that. I ain't yeah. gonna lie, that shit was that shit hard. That shit hard as fuck. Like and he really like he really hold it down for New York because it's not a lot of niggas like really like popping like that besides like a boogie and shit like that. But besides like pop smoke, he's still going crazy even though he ain't here no more. R.I.P. Like. And like post, K Fly that post jail. Bar, that postpartum shit, like yeah, that niggas, was a hard album. Niggas selling, boy. When they, that's what do you think that is? Niggas, sell, niggas like him can sell so much. You think he would? I got a better question. Would he have sold as much if he was alive? Yo, Pop Smoke, he damn near changed. Like, nigga, I'm everybody, asking, though, everybody, yo, I'm asking, dance, would he have sold as much? I believe alive? so. Like honestly, he was like one of my like favorite artists at the time. Like when he died, like that shit, like. Made me feel some type of way. You cried, like, you cried in the nah, car? I ain't cry. I'm, I'm just saying, bullshit. Like, nah, it's okay to like, cry, bro. Nah, because like, I was really fuck with him. And then he dies. Like, damn, like that nigga was just popping this shit. Yeah. Ain't on no, like, no soft shit. Like, nah, he, was, he, had, he had shit on lock, for I'm real. Like, trying to make light of the moment. Like, nigga ain't trying to rest the peace of that nigga. nigga got a, he had a movie real, and shit, too. Uh, yeah, man. I forgot the name of it. So it's called like Boogie. He had a little feature on that shit, too. But well, that shit was like independently put out or some shit. Nah, bitch is uh, I think it's on Netflix. Oh, okay. Or either that or Stars. True. Yeah, hey, hey, but yo, shout out to them, you know, New York shit, Fabio doing his thing. So who do you crazy. who do you think got it on Smash uh down south? We could we could like like man top three down south. Shit. You know we going crazy. Future. Okay. But Hold that. I'm saying in that order or nah, this is this is what it is. Just All right, so we want like this like top the, three? Try to do an order just so order? Can, yeah, your order so niggas so, know what you the south. What, what your ear, you know what I'm saying? For me, I'm gonna say Kodak. I'm gonna say no cap. I mm -hmm. really like no cap. Shit, and I'll be waiting for future to come out. Like nigga, want to be on that vibe. Like when that nigga come out, he nigga made me a fucking demon. Like that what nigga. You, some when shit. the last like, time he didn't even drop? A long time. I still go back to his old shit. But what was his last tape? I can't even. He got a lot of features though. Like well, yeah, uh, I know Ice, the features. Ice he wear, going uh, crazy. Uh, uh, Pedro and shit like that. Like man, what happened to your boy Icewear though? I don't that, know. Shit, that nigga was going crazy Yo, about. Two, I was in months. Washington. I swear to God, I play that tape every day consistently. That shit go crazy. But that's one of the few tapes. Like you play, you send me that shit like, like even that that weird ass rocker song. I'm like that shit so hard too. I, like, I sent you a thousand. Yeah. Yeah, you sent me that. Uh -huh. Yeah, I ain't even know. You, even that weird ass song you sent me like, like that right. shit still went hard. I ain't really care for it at first. You got to really some. That's why sonically, like a lot of people, the new generation they ain't gonna listen to shit. And give it a chance. You sometimes you gotta hear it three, four times. Yeah, you can't give an sure. opinion quick as fuck. That's why when we talk about certain albums, I'm kind of reluctant to like really give my true feelings because I don't really have none, and I ain't the type to just make a judgment off of my first, second time hearing some. Because right. I know how music can hit you depending on your mood, your settings. Like it's like some songs, like I'm like nah, like damn, it was one song. I think it was a Kodak song. Like no, the uh, the Hot Boy and Kodak uh, record first. I'm like, man, this shit is whack. Then I started playing out, like, hold up, this shit kind of hard. Like, for real, cause it fit on the vibe, like, yeah, yeah like, for you real, going, for you real. driving downtown the highway, shit going crazy, like, that shit go crazy. Yeah, for sure. So, it's crazy so. how, like, like, the type of environment and, like, what you in to make that song so much better. That's, That's the crazy true. part. That's very true, bro. So, what you, um, what you looking forward to as far as, like, you know, it's been a minute since we've been. On the pod, like what you looking forward to as far as like, let's be honest with the people. Like it's it, like we done changed some backgrounds and yeah. like dark shit, but like if if what's our what's your ultimate goal for this shit? Like if you can be real, man, I'm trying to say take this shit to the top. Like just we honestly, I just want to be a platform that everybody want to come to, like and share like their 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 vibe and what they got going on with us, and that we all just come together type shit. Cause at the end of the day, like all we do is show love to everybody. So that's, that's that's pretty much what we own. Right. The ultimate goal is basically just be a platform love, for everybody. Be a platform just, for yeah. everybody. Show love, get love, and just be able to have a platform to yeah. to to get them flowers and you know what I'm saying talk about some real shit and um just for the people that don't know how to believe in themselves, we want to be that voice to let you know like you can you can you can do what you want to do because this shit came from nothing, bro. This was an idea. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So. With that being said, man, let's just take this final shot. Last you know, shot, man. This ain't we ain't Episode being too, two going crazy. Too too long winded today. We got y'all a little little sign sign.
I'm gonna stop. Hey man, shout out to everybody been rocking on this too. Like all the day one supporters, everybody follow us on Instagram, YouTube, at Liquor Courage Podcast. Man, shout on out to Instagram, everybody even just asking on man. YouTube. Yeah, a lot of people ask us too, like, oh, what a podcast, what a podcast. Right. So Hey like man, we said, back. Make sure y'all support for real. Here we go, man. Hey, last shot of the night. Last shot of the night, man. We out.